بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته How are you my students? I hope that you're happy and healthy and I hope that you are well prepared for today's lesson which will be the unit one speaking today we'll be learning about speaking so today's objectives is at the end of this session you will be able to first generate ideas about the use of internet the second objective compare your ideas with, uh, about the use of the internet so generate ideas then trying to compare these ideas but before we do that let's revise some of the previous lessons that we take that we took so let's let's take some exercises about them the first exercise here complete the conversation with the correct forms of the auxiliary verbs do have and be the correct forms of do so we have do did and done have so we have had has and had be we have am um, is are or was with so let's uh, begin the conversation between Jasim and Ibrahim what did you do last night Ibrahim I went to a restaurant with some friends why so this is the first gap why and we have the word uh, the word not you come so what's the answer here very good why didn't you come why didn't why did we choose didn't because here he said i went this is a past tense so now we know he is in the past jasim i i what very good i was signing up for an online job finding service i was continuing with the past tense i was signing up for an online job finding service this is one of the benefits of the internet trying to find jobs Ibrahim wow you were Jasim yeah I not done it before I not negative done it before so what do we put in this gap very good I hadn't done it before but yesterday I decided to try it I had to answer so many questions. Of course, when you apply for a job, they, they're going to ask you so many questions. What kind of questions they ask you? What kind of questions they ask you? Remember, they're talking about a past event. Very good. Did. What kind of questions did they ask you? Continuing with the conversation. Well, they ask things like when you born when you born that's correct when were you born what you like to do what very good do you like to do you ever had a job the gap then continuing you ever had a job very good have you ever had a job the gap number eight you want to work in Saudi Arabia this is a question they want to see if he wants to work in Saudi Arabia very good do you want to work in Saudi Arabia the gap number nine where you live yes this is an, a very obvious one where do you live ten what you do what you do what do you do what's the meaning of what do you do it doesn't mean what are you doing now what do you do it means what do you do for for a living where do you work at what do you do for a living for example I'm a teacher when someone asks me what do you do I say I'm a teacher continuing here how much money you want to make how much money of course money is an important issue in a job how much money you want to make very good how much money do you want to make what kind of job you like very good it's the same what kind of job do you like so continuing here well I guess they very good they are trying to see if you are the best candidate 
for the job. So Ibrahim is telling his friend, they're trying to see if you are the best candidate for the job. So they need to know a lot about you. And then he asked him, they make a profile page for you. Number 14, yes, that's correct. Do they make a, pri uh, a profile page for you? Jasim replied, yes, they do. Do they? Yes, they do. This is a yes, no question. You echo the auxiliary verb. Do they? Yes, they do. Yes, they do. You want to see it? Very good. Do you want to see it? Ibrahim replied, yes, I do. The same thing, echoing the auxiliary verb, repeating it. Yes, I do. You giving them any pictures? Very good. Did you give them any pictures? Did, past tense here, did you give them any pictures? No, I, not yet. Yet, yet it means until now. Yet. So, no, I haven't yet. I, and negative here, not, have any good ones. Why did he didn't give them any picture? He said, I don't have any good ones. Why not? You ask me. Very good. This is a past tense. Why didn't you ask me? I have some. You do? Great. Maybe we can upload them now. So this is the ending of this exercise. Jumping to the other exercise from the workbook, rewrite the text messaging using abbrevi abbreviations. Remember to find the shortest way representing the way they sound. If you remember abbrevi uh, abbreviations and acronyms, we try to shorten the words using the first letters and so. So let's try to exercise this here. The first one, where are you? Will you be over soon? Try to rewrite this question using abbreviations and acronyms if you remember how. Okay, let's see the first answer. Where are you? We took the W and the word R is the same pronunciation as the letter R. Same thing goes with you. Where are you? W R U. Then we put the question mark. Will you be over soon? Will you? W U. And the verb be here, it's the exact same as the letter B. Over. Very good. Over. O V R. Soon. S N. So this is how you use abbreviations and acronyms with some of these words. You try to take the first letter or shorten the word itself. So let's try to check the other sentence, number two. He is not going to meet us, he is busy. He is not going to meet us, he is busy. So try to put this sentence into uh, abbreviations and acronyms, same as the first one. Try to take the first letter and shorten the long words. Very good. Let's check the answer. He is H Z, not the uh, the letter N going to G T, G T meet. It's the same. Us. It's the same. And then he is H Z, busy B Z Y. Of course, you can do busy B Z. You say busy. It's busy. So there's no uh, there's no just one correct answer. The third one, who's giving you all the information? Who's giving you all the information? Let's check the answer together. Who's, W-Z, giving G-V-N. You say given, given. G-V-N, you, the letter U, all, the, all, the letter L, the, the letter T, information, it's the same. Or you can write just info, I-N-F, Oh, again, there is no just one correct answer. You can see here the word information just missing a, simple, a few letters or you can ju uh, just write the word info, I-N-F-O. What about number four? Number four, it says, of course, I'll do it for you. You've, you've helped me so many times. 
You've helped me so many times. So let's check the abbreviations here. Of course, OC. I'll do it for you. I'll, I-L, do it, D-I. Four is the number four because they're the same pronunciation. Four, the word four is the number four. Same thing goes with the word you. It's the same pronunciation as the letter U. You've, you've helped me so many times. You've, U-V, helped, H-E-L-P-T, helped. It's almost the same pronunciation. Helped me so many times, S-M-T-M-Z, S-M-T-M-Z. S-M-T in capital, this is where you raise your voice. And then the small ones, this is where you lower your voice, your tone of voice. S-M-T-M-Z. The last one, check the store on the corner, it's cheaper. Check the store on the corner, it's cheaper. So let's check the answer together. Check, you can use the sign for check. When you do something, you write check. So you don't use a letter here, you use this sign. Check the store on the corner. The store, S-T-R, on the letter O, the, the letter T, corner, C-R-N-R, -R. corner, C-R-N-R, -R. just like the word control, the word control on your keyboard, it's C-T-R-L, this is the same thing, corner, control, the way you shorten the word, if you check your keyboard now, C, control, it's shortened to C-T-R-L, or the word escape, E-S-C, so this is the same thing here, corner, C-R-N-R, -R. it's cheaper, it is the same, cheaper, C-H-F-R, like say chipper, it's almost the same pronunciation. So let's go to the next exercise here, right? If you would call or text message in each situation and give a reason. Of course, here's, uh, here there's no one correct answer. You can choose whatever, uh, whatever you like, if you prefer texting, if you prefer calling. So let's j uh, just check the answers together here. Of course, this is my own uh, opinion, my own view of the situation. The first one is you're in a very busy store, very loud, very busy store. There's a, there are a lot of people. You want to ask your friend if he or she likes a particular color. You want to ask your friend if he or she likes a particular color. So here in this situation, the store is very busy, very loud. Do you call or do you text message or maybe chat using some of these applications? For me, I, do, I would use text messaging because the shop is busy and noisy. Because if I call, uh, maybe the other participant, my friend, wouldn't hear me so clearly. So instead of that, I will just text him. Very good. Number two, you know your father is at the station waiting. You want to let him know that you'll be arriving in 20 minutes. Your father is waiting for you in the station and you're going to pick him up in 20 minutes. You want to tell him that you'll be there in 20 minutes. Do you call him or do you text him? So this is up to you. And uh, I'm going to choose now, but I'm going to give you my uh, explanation why. I would text him because he might, uh, he might not hear the phone if there are trains going back and forth. You know, at the station, trains going back and forth, so it must be noisy. Maybe I'll call him and he wouldn't hear, uh, he wouldn't, uh, hear me. So instead, I will just text him. Number three, you, number three, you are in the library looking for a science book, but you have forgotten which volume you need for class. You want to ask your classmate. You want to ask your classmate that uh, you are in the library looking for a science book. You have forgotten which volume uh, you need for class. So when you want to ask your classmate, do you call him or do you text him? You remember you're in a library, you have to be quiet in a library. So it's very obvious here that I would choose text messaging because you're not supposed to make 
any noise and disturb other people in the library. Once you are in the library, try to not to be noisy. Here's the other exercise, right? If you would call or text messaging, continuing, you had an unnecessary argument with your cousin, you feel responsible, you want to apologize. Of course, I would call him. I would call him. It seems better and more appropriate. You know your brother is on his way from work. You are halfway point and you want to catch him before he goes past so he can give, it a, so he can give you a lift. You, you choose to call him or to text him. Of course, I would call him uh, because he's in his car driving and he probably won't check his text messages. That's why I prefer to call him. So let's jump to the, uh, and here, revising our previous lesson, has the internet ever helped you to meet or reconnect with people, our friend? Internet, of course, helped us a lot reconnecting with our friends. If you remember uh, these articles that we took previously, finding your double, saving a life, or united after 60 years. And then we took the after reading question. So this is today's lesson speaking. What do you see here in these pictures? What do you see here in these pictures? Very good. This is a picture of a brain. And this is a picture of a storm brain is the part responsible for thinking, coming, coming up with ideas. And the storm is moving of lots of particles, storm. You know, there are lots of particles moving inside the storm. Once you uh, put them together, you come up with a term called brainstorm, brainstorm. It means moving ideas and uh, together. What is brainstorming? Group discussion to produce ideas or solve problems. So you and your friends try to discuss, to come up with a solution and to come up with an idea. So this is brainstorming. All of the ideas are moving through your brains just like the particles in the storm. This is called brainstorming. As you can see here in the picture, this is brainstorming. Again, a group discussion. Why? Group discussion for what? To produce ideas or solve problems. So here this is the problem solving until you come up with the solution. Always at the ending of the brainstorming you come up with the solution. So work in pairs here or group if you're a group watching or maybe you with your friend work in pairs or group think about the ad uh, advantages and disadvantages of the internet and make notes in the organizer, discuss your ideas in class. So we have advantages and disadvantages columns. Think about the advantages and disadvantages of the internet. Of course, the internet has many advantages. Also, it has many disadvantages. Let's begin with the advantages here. The first one is the online education. Like you are now watching this video, this is online education. Connecting people, as we took previously and, and we read in the articles, internet connects people. E-commerce, e-commerce, it's easier through the internet to deliver your message through the internet as a commercials. Entertainment, entertainment, once you are bored, you uh, start the internet and entertain yourself. What about the disadvantages? The first one is addiction. Some people are uh, addicted to the internet and they waste time. The second disadvantage is virus threat. There are lots of viruses. They can harm your computer or even your cell phone. So be careful. Information theft. If your computer or phone are not protected, your private information might, got, might get stolen. The, th the last one is time waste. You have to, uh, to manage your time through, uh, uh, while you're using the internet. It's the same as addiction almost, so you have to organize yourself using the internet. And this is it for today. See you next time, inshallah. Subhanakallahumma bihamdik. Ashadu Allah, la ilaha anta astaghfirku wa tubu ilayk. Assalamu alaikum.